Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Papa Meerkat, and we are back in Card Life, where the whole world is cardboard. Alright. I like this, that's actually a nice visual. But, in the last episode, what we did was uh, I uh, went spelunking for a bit, found some gems, and we built up our house. And I did do what I promised. Uh, after each episode, I'm going to add a room to my house. I did, uh, since I recorded two episodes and didn't do that, I added two rooms to my house. And that's why I'm looking this way, so I can surprise you guys. Alright. And, uh, this, uh, what was I going to say? The thing, uh, with the, the rules are with the adding a room to my house after each episode, if I can possibly do that. Because to be honest with you guys, I don't know how long I can continue that because trees don't regrow and you have no way to plant your own trees. So, if I run out of wood that's kind of close by to my house, I might have to stop, but we'll see what happens. But, there's my house. <clears throat> I added two rooms. And, the, and the, the rules are is that after each episode, I add one room, right? Well... The room could be any size from one block to huge if I wanted to. As long as it counts as one room. If that wasn't, you know, if that was unclear at first or something. Well, I didn't really give out any rules. Collecting up all this because uh, you need plant fiber for a lot of stuff. Alright, let's go check out the house. I spent a little bit of time yesterday trying to build this thing. And you get a lot of parts to build with. As everybody knows that from basically this point over was my house. This <laughs> PMG. Uh, Papa Meerkat Gaming. That's what that stands for. Alright, here's the house. These are the two new rooms. I got this room right here. See, this is where the house ended. was basically right behind this chest. I added this room that has my uh, kind of a logo on it as a window. Just for the hex of it. And I built an upstairs loft with tiny little windows in the back like it's a happy house. And I brought, uh, put these slits here. They're not very good to look at except if you want to look up in the sky. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, I'm going to put down here. I'm going to do the, uh, the workstations. So I'm going to have my workbench, you know, furnace and stuff down here. Up here I'm going to put maybe some chests and a bed if I can build a bed. But first we need to build the uh, a workstation to build new furniture and weapons and whatnot. I do need to build some new stuff. As you see, my uh, axe is getting worn out. This stuff's almost half health. And I need to build armor. Now I think I have enough stone to build this armor. I'm thinking about building this instead of wooden armor. Which armor is 96, 96, you know. It's not too bad. But look at the armor for the stone compared to this. 192, 272, 540 compared to 384. Yeah, it's a lot better. Then you got this stuff, which requires, let's see, it requires coarse leather and thread. I don't know where this, I don't know how to make this thread because last time I played this, thread didn't exist in the game. So that's new to me. This stuff requires, of course, fiber and wood. Stone requires fiber and stone. And I got lots of stone. As you see here, I got all this compact stone. I got regular stone. And if you look at my chest, I got some more compact stone, a bunch of dirt, all these gems I don't know what to do with yet. Kind of excited about this stuff. I think these are for enchanting. All right, let's build ourselves a workbench kind of thing. I think the forge is your workbench. It says uh, craft metal components or equipment and structures. Furnace allows you to make ingots. This is a building permission for other players, like if you're playing multiplayer. Enchanting table, which I can't build because I do not have a dull magic essence. Which I think it dropped by enemies. And leather, in this game, leather is very important for building a lot of objects. So you gotta go out and kill wolves and whatnot. And I still need leather to make a clothing rack. So first off, I think I need to build a furnace. Which requires leather. So let's go out and see if we can find ourselves 
a wolf. But uh, yeah, when I uh, after every episode, I'm gonna add a room to this, and I and the speculation to that is is that or oh, the rules. Uh, I don't know if I even said that that word correctly. Is I can build the room as bigger or as small as I want, as long as it counts as a room. So, well, we gotta find ourselves something to kill. We need some coarse leather. Yeah, yeah. When I was building my room the other day, or that those two rooms, I noticed a new type of wolf I've never seen before, and I ran away from it because I did not want to fight it. It looked like it was a different color. It was more of an orange and red. And its eyes were glowing red. It did not look friendly. Oh, is that another diamond? Sweet. I need to collect more copper, too. I think my copper is not very much. I didn't find very much of it last time we played. I tried killing a crab yesterday, and it just gives me meat. It doesn't actually give you any uh, leather. It should, uh, like, drop chitin. Or something I can use besides meat. Meat's good though. I need to make it into uh, the forest. Yeah, there's still some work to do on this game, like bug wise. If the developers are watching my videos, welcome to my videos and thank you for joining. By the way, plus any uh, any new people, so you know, besides subscribers, I just say thank you to everybody, subscribers, new and old. And uh, people that just joined my channel that are not subscribed. But uh, if the developers are watching, you know, they, hopefully I can tell them some bugs and whatnot that needs to be fixed. Like, man, it took a bit to get this recording going because of the, uh, this game does not like my recording software. Well, bears will give me stuff, but they are powerful. Whoa. Uh, I'm going to die, ain't I? Oh, bear. No, bear. I don't think I can handle bears. Go away. Go away, bear. I'll get you when I have better tools. At least a metal sword, stone armor or something. And if your health, if you are not in a uh, combat situation, your health will regenerate over time. Look at all these little, what are these things? There's those wolves I was talking about, they're different color because the ones I'm used to are gray. These are colored, they have like reds and whites on them. Hey you. Do you drop leather? What is this? Is it a dryad? No. Horse hive. And he dropped a uh, dull magic essence. Nice. Come on, dryad. Ah, oh, yes. These were these are what dropped the uh, dull magic essences, guys. Which is awesome. Well, oh. well, it was a red one. What's wrong with him? See that back there? I need to let my health regen. What did I get off that? What is this? Dryad wing. Enchanting, okay. I got two of the dull magic essence. I got coarse hide. I got six of them. There's my copper. I've been keeping it on me. Why does this guy have a red outline on him? Craft stone, yeah, that's what I'm about to do is craft stone armor whenever I get enough hide. But you can't build anything without having the uh, stations first. Need them stations. I'm kind of worried about fighting this guy. My hunger's not down enough to give me a heal. What was that? I heard something like hiss at me on that direction. Are you special or something? Elite. Oh, I need metal tools, guys. I need to do that extra damage. 
Oh, whoa, what did he drop? What was that? Dryad Soul, a powerful creature soul that can be equipped to gain additional power. Health increase plus 50. Stamina. Armor. What? Does that go here? Oh, man. Guys, we found something cool. What did I do? This one? Soul Reaver. Creature souls are dropped from elite creatures. A soul can be equipped to inherit some of that creature's power. And you get another reward? What was that? A powerful creature soul. What? Guys. This game is getting too good. Look at this. Look at my stamina. 500 and 500. It, it just increased like crazy. That is awesome. And then you get all these like rings or something. I don't know what these are, but I think they're rings and stuff. But they look like gears, like machinery. Oh, I got enough coarse leather. Let's go ahead and craft. Oh, you can't make it. It's like a uh, special. Well, we'll go ahead and make the furnace. You can't edit this one, so. Which is, I guess it's okay because the way it looks. I don't know. Uh, more coarse leather for this and I need uh so I need five total leather because I got three on me now all right let's go see if we can get some more coarse leather but look at my health that those uh creature souls were awesome oh there's some gray wolves you see those wolves up there and I was uh messing around with the uh crafting menu yesterday after I built my rooms and I noticed a white wolf pelt I'm wondering where I get the white ones at because it allowed me to craft something else. Honeyberry. Oh, those are good berries. If I remember correctly, they're really good berries. See, these are the wolves I'm used to. Hunter quest complete. Did you give me hide? I'll check that quest in a bit while I'm not out here in the wild. Oh, see, so we, we know what the red outline means. It means elite version of a mob. And they have a chance of dropping souls. They're more tough, more health, do more damage. But they drop those awesome souls. I like the souls. Alright, let's go check out this other little dude. Try to collect up that coarse hide. Or just regular hide. Now do more damage, you see that? He used to take about six hits to take one of those guys down. So I'm do I'm overall improved. This is sweet. And you get three slots? Well that is awesome. I like the creature souls. But don't go after the red outline guys until you are ready. <laughs> they are tough. Oh, this one's tough. Are you going to attack back, dude? Dude? Well. Um. Okay. Well, there was something happening there that wasn't supposed to be happening, I guess. This will take five hits. I got more coarse hide. I got a total of five. And I need a total of eight. So, we need to head back. It's becoming nighttime. Come on, wolf. This way. Come on. Is there something wrong with the wolves? No, this one's attacking. If you look at the bottom of the screen while I'm attacking, you'll notice a uh, like a cooldown meter. Wait till that cooldown meter goes to zero zero or below that, where it doesn't show any number at all, and you do the most damage. If you attack rapidly, you do less damage, way less damage. All right, let's head back home while it's nighttime. Maybe hunt some stuff that's close to home. 
So head back to the beach. Well, those creature souls, well, that's awesome. And you get one for free. So if you get, if you get one to begin with, then you get an extra one that's a little bit better than the other one that you get from the creature, depending on, I guess. I guess it's randomized. Yeah, let me know in the comments how you like my house. I just think I'm just going to make it bigger and bigger every episode. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, actually I got a plan. On the next room I'm going to build on this thing, I'm going to put a big enough room to have a chest room. Because there's one thing I'm not a big fan of in this game right now, is that you can delete your walls if you make a mess up or something, but you get nothing back from it. It is gone forever, you get no wood back, you get nothing. I'd rather get half supplies back from a, a wall than get nothing at all, but you, you get nothing. So if I have to delete this chest because it's in the way now, because my original design, uh, whatever's, this chest doesn't come back. You get nothing from it. It just vanishes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a dedicated chest room. So I don't have to move them around. And I might actually, what I'm going to do with that chest room, instead of adding it to here, I'm not going to add it to the main house. I'm going to build a separate house on the side, like a shed. Or a work, like a, uh, I don't know what you call it, a garage. And have it as my chest room. Means I have to go outside every time I go after my my goods. All right, let's drop the furnace. And I got four of these too. Wheat. All right, now I can rotate this. You hold down the right mouse button, and then you can rotate it how you want it. See if I put this in the corner, as close to the corner as I possibly can. Alright, yeah, right there. Boom. We got ourselves a furnace, guys. And it takes wood, of course, to fuel. Ore goes in there. It takes two ore to make one ingot. Man. Can I not burn it? Well, I guess you just choose. Oh, can't go that far. I'm going to make 13 ingots. And it literally takes a wood for every ingot. Okay. So that's the cost. It takes one for every ingot. It takes two ore to make one ingot. Copper, at least. All right. Now, should I make this next? Hands raw hides into leather. This is very important, actually. Enchanting table. I can make that because I got the four magic uh, dull magic essence. But I didn't get all my leather, so I got to pick wisely here. This takes four as well. Oh, which one would be more more beneficial for me now? This. Or this. This will allow me to make leather, and then that can make other things like leather armor, maybe. But this allows me to make metal tools. So let's get that. So because if I can make metal tools, there I can make more damage or do more damage. Okay, let's put this. Can't be too close to anything. Uh, as close as I possibly can. Baby steps. Oop. Now I can make, oh dude, look at all this stuff. Cobalt mechanical drill, what? What? Jackhammer? Chainsaw? What? Thorium? Titanium? Guys, there is all kinds of stuff. Iron? Copper? Can I make a copper sword? Can I check? Oh, okay. So you can, you have this, uh, pull down tabs. That allows you to go to single things, stores, structures, lights, decorations, ammunition, tools, weapons. Yep, here we go. Copper short sword. That cost. Coarse leather strips. Oh, man. I did need the, uh, that leather maker. Let's look at what we got here, guys. Okay. Look at all these awesome things. All right, copper stuff. 
Oh man, that is powerful. Look at that armor. But it probably costs a bunch. Yeah. It costs 12 ingots just to make the helmet. Plus these uh, coarse leather strips. I don't remember this much stuff when I played it last. What's this? Compass? Oh, there is a compass. A compass which, when equipped, it will show your position on the map. What map? Is there a map in this game? You can even make metal structures. Gold, uh, golden house, guys. Golden house. Cobalt? Wonder if the uh, if there's a chest as a metal chest, does it actually have more space in it than a normal chest? I don't think I see any chest though. All right. Well, it looks like we're gonna go out and get ourselves some extra uh, leather. We need it, but it's nighttime here and it's kind of scary outside. Can I make myself a bed? What does it cost for a bed? I can find a bed. Alright, a simple bed costs. Oh, I did get a white or a light wolf pelt. Well, we're crafting ourselves a bed, guys. Alright. Alright, so you got four different pieces. You got the, the blanket that's on top, the pillow, the sideboards, and the footboard and the headboard. Let's see. Can I just make like a weird looking bed that'd be funny looking? What about like a bed that looks like this? That, that looks impractical. <laughs> it's impractical. It looks like it's going to go through the floor. Alright, I'm not going to do that. Actually, let's make the diamond, but make it more practical looking. There you go. It actually looks like it fits in the sideboards. Uh, we're not going to have a cool looking bed. We're going to have a weird looking bed. I don't even know what this is. What is this? <laughs> Alright, blanket or the pillow. What do we do with the pillow? Huh. Let's do one of them. One of these. Let's go across. Why make weird? Why make normal looking things, right? It's in the green still. It looks like something chewed out my pillow. <laughs> Let's go uh, old school on this. Let's make a, a rectangle. Just a normal blanket. There we go. Yeah. Beautiful. Now I'm going to put that upstairs. Our weird bed. Is there enough room up here to put this? Might have to rotate it, maybe. Um, it's not allowing me to put it down. Come on now. Can I not put it down up here at all? It has to be down here. Well, looks like we're putting it over here then. Oh, that's why I built the loft. I built this for the bed, but it won't let me put the bed there. Oh, I can't even get... Oh, okay, I can't get in there. Man, I didn't put it all the way in either. Oh, I can maybe put some like hidden chests back here. Do they fit? Well, we got to get ourselves some more leather. But before we do that, we need to go do some some quests. So I got Hunter. You got two leather. There's the light ones, too. Sorry, I'm about to hiccup there. Wolves and bears drop pelts when defeated. Pelts can be used to craft coarse leather at a leather rack or to, be, to make a bed. Also, it gives you leather anyways for making a bed. Once placed a bed, uh, will act as a spawn point upon death. If multiple beds are placed, the nearest bed will be used. Okay, and I get some extra wood. And it's not even the same kind of wood I got, which is that uh, red wood. Oh, well. Well, you get times four metal ingots, or copper ingots. Stronger than wood and stone, these ores must be smelted to 
ingots before they can be used. Actually, you know what we do need to do? Since I think we can, we need to build armor. And I don't think I need a station to build it, so... So when we're out there, we can do a little bit more damage and take a bit more punishment. But look. How did that get so low? No, I got a bunch. What are you talking about, game? It said only ha oh, it said only have 11. Alright, what else? Alright, so this is one half of the helmet. What? You can't do more than one half? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Because they'll mirror each other. Okay, so let's bring up a horn just for the hex of it. Let's go down. I don't know if I want that hole in the middle, but yeah, we'll stick with it. That has no eyes. How do I make eyes on this thing in one move? All right, let's go again. I don't think you can edit something after you already finished drawing it. So I got an idea. Let's go in like a skull. And then we go up, and then we make a small line in, and then we make an eye. And then we come back down, and then we go over. Well, that looks neat. Looks like kind of like a cat. I like it. Boom, one helmet. Bam. And they do have a uh, durability mo uh, bar. Okay, craft. All right now, what? Oh, this has got a lot of pieces on it. Kind of like the way the shoulder looks. So let's move to the front. All right. Let's see what we can do with this. Uh, is that the back? No, it's just the middle. Hmm. Kind of, I'm okay with the way this looks. I'm going to keep the way that looks. Okay, let's see how the arms look. Alright, so it's that middle piece. We're going to make a bone. There we go. One bone. <laughs> Can't really see it, not unless it's highlighted. Now, legs. I think the legs look too bulky. We just want a pair of boots. A decent pair of boots. So that's the top piece. And then it'll go out and then down and then back around. Kind of like a pirate boot. There we go. Even though you can't really draw the front of it, so you have to use your imagination. Like if you were looking at a boot from the front, this would be the top, the the where the toes are, up, and then like the frill at the top. If that makes any sense. All right, I can't look at myself, so. All right, I think we're ready. Well, my sword is wore out, though. I need to build a way to get up there easier. It's kind of a pain to get up there. Oh, we got a flying dude. We need leather. What did I get? Defender? Armor provides damage reduction and, and chance... To fully resist an attack. Ooh, I get an uh, extra stone sword, which I need. Because mine's getting low. Stone sword sword. Same as this, yep. Awesome. I don't know what design that one is. Let's look at that real fast. What design is this? Is it the same as mine? Nope, it's the default. But well, it'll work, I guess. It's just extra. Alright. Hey, little uh, dryad dude. I need your leather. 
Yes. Oh yeah, I'm taking way less damage. Awesome. When I get ma magic essence, I am happy with that. Because it's probably... That's how you enchant your equipment and rings and whatnot. Amulets and rings and stuff, which there is such a thing. If you look here, you'll see rings and amulets right here. You got relics, the ink, talisman, and the band. And I think all these will go into here. And then when you have an enchanting table, which is this right here, then you can enchant these. I'm thinking it takes those uh, orbs. All right. Always watch your hunger meter, guys. Always watch your hunger meter. I don't want to lose my house, so it's that way is my house. There is a map. Is this new? And you got markers? This reminds me of Ark. Can I place a marker? Let's say green home. Uh, right here. Dude, this is awesome. There's a map now. What does this mean? That's scary. Does that mean there's like a, a fortress or something that you take over? I got like a boss or something in there? Ooh. Goals to go for. Deer. I see some deer. Where's all the wolves and stuff? I don't want to go too far yet until we're ready. There's deers. I know you can get probably leather from deers, of course. Makes sense. This game's actually a lot of fun. Well, before it was fun too. My first episode. But it was really buggy. It's still You can still see some bugs nowadays. But it's a little bit better. And this game, like I said earlier on, this game doesn't seem very friendly towards recording hardware and software. I couldn't record the game. I had to restart over and over again. Because as soon as I start hitting record, it untethers my mouse from the game itself, but you can still move in game with the mouse. But I would click off screen over and over again because the mouse is untethered from the game. It was really weird. And then I have uh, hotkeys set up for my... um. For recording and stop recording and screenshots and whatnot. And it, while the game is running, you can't use my hotkeys for some reason. So I have to exit out of the software using Alt Tab to record or hit record and then back again. And that's when it would untether. If that makes any sense. Dear? Deer. Deer. I'm doing more damage and I'm taking less damage. That is very good. Oh, boar. I wonder how powerful a boar is. Did I get any leather off of him? I got three. I need to make the leather rack. That's the next objective. Oh, this guy's got more, more armor. I missed one of my attacks. Okay, he gave me two meat, and I got four of this, which is awesome. And I got 18 meat. I like that. Meat is really good at healing you, or refilling your hunger bar as well. On health. Alright, before we end the episode, it's getting close to the end of this episode. Before we end, I want to be able to, be able to make the uh, leather rack. Oh yeah. You can tell these guys are more armored. Oh, I got tusks. wonder what that's for. A text from a wild boar that can be used in chanting. Okay. Awesome. And I am hungry. I'm always hungry, man. Come on. 
Don't run away from me, man. Don't do it. I gotta watch my well, my sword's about to break real soon here. But good thing I got a freebie, right? It may not be my awesome scimitar design, but hey, as long as it works for what it needs to be used for. All right, let's see. Give me a couple of berries, heal up a bit faster. But I don't want to fill up my hunger bar completely because you can't use it as an extra heal. As you see, you have to stand outside of combat to heal on your own. But in combat, you need a way to heal. Which I think the developers need to add some kind of uh, potion making or some other alternative to healing. Yeah, come here, boy. Come on. Up here. There you go. Oh, missed my first attack. Missed my third. Missed my fourth. What is going on with this missing? Um. Wow. For some reason, I was missing that boar almost half of the time. Maybe even a little bit more. I couldn't hit him. Is there any copper down here I can snag? No. Yeah, the music when this game is loading kind of reminds me of uh, Elder Scrolls for some reason. Or from Bethesda, if you ever played the Elder Scrolls games. Alright, I'm gonna head back home. I think I got enough leather to build the leather station. Kind of like the way this valley looks. This is awesome. Just think about having a floating house up here. Like in between the walls and stuff. I got ideas, guys. I got ideas. I, every time I look at something, I can see designs in my head. And blueprints and stuff. Alright, uh, we're getting close to the end of this episode, so what I'm going to do is build this leather station. And then off camera, I'm going to build my chest room. And I, like I said, I'm going to probably build it separate from the house as like a shed or a garage. And build it big enough to put enough chests in to last a while. Alright. Let's go ahead and turn this stuff into... I can make four. Awesome. It gives me 22 ingots. Sweet. Oh, I got a wolf tooth. So this stuff's used for enchanting. This stuff's used for enchanting. Enchanting. Oh, and I built this yesterday, but it wouldn't sit on my uh, angled roof or ceiling. It just wouldn't do it. Alright, let's build ourselves a leather working station. Alright. Then you need four. I got plenty of everything here. It's not cus customizable. Usually the workbenches are not custom custom made. Well, they are made by the developers. So, uh, yeah, there we go. And this allows me to build. Okay, thread, coarse leather, coarse leather, and these strips, rugged leather strips, and rugged leather. Awesome. So this thing allows you to build all these other items to make actual leather instead of just having hide. Alright, well. Well, that was an exciting episode. You guys got to check out my house. Next episode we'll be doing a uh, extra house, uh, an extra room like I said before. Every episode I'm going to try to add a room. Either that be a small room or a big room. It's up to me. As long as it still counts as a room. And uh, if I build like a... Um, like a fenced in area right here like say you know, a boxed fenced in area that would be counted as a room because it's part of my house and it is a separate structure or a structure as part of my house whatever all right guys well i'm gonna end the episode here i'm out of time and i hope you enjoyed your stay here it's getting exciting too we got some relics we got some cool stuff we got stations think we're ready for more adventures all right well if you'd like to become part of the meerkat nation hit that subscribe button and join today 
I welcome everybody. And if you like my commentary, you find it helpful, funny, or entertaining, hit that like button to show you support. And if you didn't, guys, you know, still hit that like button because I'm new to this and I am improving every day. It's still a learning, learning process for me. And next to the uh, subscribe button, you'll see a bell icon up here. You hit that bell icon and you'll be notified of everything I upload. You'll get notifications on YouTube app or in emails or whatnot. As saying, hey, Papa Mirka uploaded another adventure. Go check it out. All right. Well, guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.